Hello friends, welcome back to Vstudent Blog. In this Tutanix uh, series of training sessions, we will be looking at uh, upgrade process in uh, Prism Element and also in Prism Central. So let's go to our lab. So here, this is the uh, Prism Element uh, and uh, if you see here, this is the Prism Element dashboard and this is Prism Central dashboard. This is the difference where you can clearly see looking at the dashboard uh, it's very clear that uh, what is prism element and what is prism central so if you go to prism element uh, you'll be able to see the cluster uh, summary a like hypervisor uh, uh, summary prism central link here and uh, storage summary cluster summary here and this is a health summary and this is uh, for critical alerts and warnings if you go to the prism central the main dashboard will have the alerts cluster memory usage and uh, cluster details here and cluster CPU details here and uh, this is a cluster storage and IOP, uh, IOPS details and cluster latency and cluster runaway details so by this uh, looking at the dashboard you can identify what is what so before we going to look at the process uh, uh, we'll go to our uh, Nutanix recommendation documentation and uh, we'll go through it and we'll understand what has to be done first in order to upgrade our Nutanix environment if you see here this is the recommended uh, upgrade of process so Nutanix uh, like a uh, recommended upgrade order applies to internet connected clusters and unconnected that is uh, dark set clusters Nutanix recommends performing most updates through LCM uh, that is lifecycle manager in the web console uh, like when you run the LCM uh, yeah, like uh, it can run inventory uh, it can it will inventory your cluster and uh, uh, recommend updates to the uh, these uh, components like foundation AOS AHV and NCC and firmware and other components so Nutanix has designed LCM to automatically automatically consider update dependencies and upgrade available software and firmware components in appropriate order so when you run this LCM it will take care of uh, doing the things in a proper order and uh, about this task if you choose to upgrade individual cluster software components so please do these uh, update steps in Nutanix recommended order for best results so here is the results like uh, 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 process mentioned now uh, what uh, like uh, first of all Nutanix recommends that you update all the other prism element and prism central cluster software and firmware before you before update add-on softwares like uh, yeah com files carbon and other objects so uh, these are all the additional uh, add-on components so before doing this uh, we have to do the prism element and prism central cluster software and firmware hardware firmware uh, updates so to know more about uh, just we need to go through go to the lifecycle manager documentation but uh, recommendation from Microsoft sorry <laughs> recommendation from Nutanix support is not to do the firmware as a first step so so never go for it so here is the process so first we have to do the prism central cluster update out of uh, two like prism element as well as prism uh, central cluster like we have to go for prism central cluster upgrade and in that also we need to go for LCM uh, framework upgrade so if you see here perform an LCM inventory which also updates the LCM firmwork and uh, do not upgrade anything apart from LCM in the step uh, first step once the N LCM is done we'll go for uh, Nutanix cluster check on prism central we need to upgrade that and after that we'll be upgrading the prism central uh, so after this uh, after prism central upgrade is done we'll be going to the prism element and upgrade lcm over there and then ncc and then run ncc once the ncc is upgraded so perform an lcm, LCM inventory uh, which also upgrades the lcm firmwork and do not upgrade any other components apart from lcm this is what uh, Nutanix recommends and once this is done upgrade and run NCC once this is done the step 3 is like uh, 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 on the go to the prism element cluster and upgrade remaining softwares and uh, 
uh, if it has been more 24 hours mm, since the last LCM inventory perform a LCM inventory again and uh, the next step is like uh, upgrade foundation then upgrade cluster maintenance utility upgrade AOS after that uh, perform upgrade uh, uh, firmware upgrades like uh, BIOS host boot all other stuff uh, which uh, with which will be listed in LCM so once this done upgrade AHV uh, for HV clusters and uh, uh, and then perform LCM inventory again and update any available firmware so these are all pretty simply mentioned here so just need to follow this so even if you have an uh, ESXi hypervisor in your environment you can upgrade even the ESXi uh, hypervisor uh, while uh, upgrading this upgrade process uh, using the uh, like uh, it will uh, two things one is like it will it will list the latest available upgrade or if we can you can download the binary from the VMware site and uh, we can upload it to the uh, prism element uh, LCM and uh, you can uh, upgrade your ESXi box so this is the process upgrade process mentioned in the Nutanix uh, recommendation document and uh, as as uh, like they mentioned like uh, prism central if you go here and uh, search for LCM so it will be listed here and uh, I, uh, if you see here I already initiated the uh, life cycle check and uh, I'm able to see so the upgrades available upgrades here so we are not going to, as they recommended we are not going to do the first two but we need to do NCC first then after that we have to do the prism central so we already done it so we are not going to do it now so same thing if you go to the prism element and uh, if you search for LCM no result fine so it will be available here so here it failed so we can run one more time to see how it goes but uh, generally when you run it here what happens is uh, it will list the um, like uh, required firmware and BIOS uh, updates for the hardware which we are using uh, so Meanwhile, we can go to the update software and uh, here uh, the other components like foundation, NCC, uh, hypervisor. So hypervisor is moved to LCM so, so it won't be available here but uh, file server and uh, AOS. So these are all uh, like uh, updates will be available here and uh, if you see here like the ma the recommended uh, steps uh, now first we have to run the LCM here for prism element uh, and then we need to upgrade a uh, foundation then upgrade AOS so here we need to do the foundation first so this is the latest version 5.1.1 and we are on 5.0.2 so we download and update it once this is done then we'll be going to uh, upgrade cluster maintenance utilities and then upgrade AOS then perform the uh, firmware update and then upgrade AHV so this is the um, uh, like uh, steps we need to follow here and uh, as I said first we'll do this NCC then AOS is the last so we are not going to do the upgrade now so it's time checking so uh, it's pretty simple you need to click on download and then when you do like uh, it will ask to download sec so, uh, we done it in our previous video same thing like pretty simple Nutanix made it pretty simple to do the things nothing complicated so it will download and the next step it will ask for upgrade so let's see how it's going for LCM here mm. so still it's in progress or oh, it got failed 
so there is some problem I believe so we we'll look into it but uh, see here like uh, LCM pre-checks detected one issue cause upgrade failure so if you see here like anything pre-upgrade uh, it will list it out and uh, uh, simply we need to figure it out and, and fix it and then only we can go for it for so it is pretty simple before identifying an issue rather than uh, uh, causing issues after upgrade so we need to go to the um, uh, proper issue where it is have and we have to fix it uh, so we will look into this later but uh, when really if if uh, it uh, LCM inventory uh, scan goes fine when you go to the firmware it will be listing the uh, uh, required upgrade for the firmware and uh, BIOS everything will be listed we need to select the uh, latest one and uh, you need to click on uh, uh, upgrade and it will take care of uh, uh, putting the server in maintenance and moving the VMs everything will take care if it is an ESXA box if uh, DRS is enabled what happens is uh, it will put the server in maintenance mode and even the uh, CVM will be turned off and uh, whatever the VMs residing on the ESXA box will be moved to the other ESXA box and that ESXA box uh, firmware BIOS everything will be updated and uh, that will be taken care by by the Nutanix uh, LCM so it will take care of everything uh, if you have uh, uh, 10 servers in uh, your environment uh, if you do it all at a time it will do one by one uh, it is uh, smart enough to take care of uh, one at a time and uh, it will move the all uh, uh, VMs to other ESA boxes and uh, once it is upgraded and made and uh, it's online it will go to the next server and it will upgrade the uh, ESXA box same thing with uh, Nutanix hypervisor so uh, as I said uh, uh, Nutanix uh, is smart enough to take care of these activities without any without breaking anything and even Nutanix support is always available as a 24 bar 7 support they are and uh, they will quickly jump in and they, they can assist you if you are into any problem so this is the process we follow and uh, I hope uh, this is uh, informative and uh, you can reach out to me on for any suggestions and queries you can reach out to me on uh, uh, my mail id vstudentblog at gmail.com thanks for watching and please do subscribe and like my videos thank you bye bye